Welcome to this presentation on working with schemas within Talon Studio. In this video, you'll explore what a schema is in the context of Talon Studio, see various types of schemas, and learn how to generate them. Schemas are used to define the structure of the data flowing within a job. They're attached to components, allowing these components to parse the input or output data before processing them. Schemas of different types can be created for flat files, databases, or other data sources such as Talend MDM. If two components, such as a database and file delimited component, work with data and have a similar data structure, then a schema of type generic can be created and used to configure both components. Here are a couple of examples of schemas used to define the structure of flat files. In the first example, each heading in the top row of the CSV file has been added as an item of an appropriate type in the schema. This schema could then be used by a tfile input raw component to process the data. The second example shows a product list created as an XML file. The schema definition uses each XML tag as a new item. This schema can then be used by an appropriate component such as tfile input XML. When data will be processed by a data flow component, you must specify a corresponding schema. Here, we can see a CSV file processed by a tfile input delimited component named customer's file. The schema created for customer's file matches the data structure within the CSV file. The data then flows to a TDB output component that uses a schema which corresponds to the columns of the destination database table called customer's table. Talon Studio allows you to generate the required schema in multiple ways. Repository metadata is covered in another presentation. However, the metadata creation wizard can be used to generate a schema. Right-clicking on a component in the repository and selecting the Create choice opens the metadata creation wizard window. From here, you can provide a metadata file name Select the file type, navigate to the file itself, define job settings like the field separator and whether to use the heading row to specify the column names, and define the schemas. You can also use existing metadata to generate the schema. For example, here we can use an existing DB connection to retrieve the schema of a database table by right-clicking the file and selecting Retrieve Schema, which opens the Schema window and allows you to define the schema. To export, click the ellipses to the right of Edit Schema to open the Schema Edit window. Make sure View Schema is selected, then click the Export All Rows into XML File button. Then you can name it and save it. To import, We'll add a tfile input delimited component, then again click the ellipses to the right of Edit Schema. This time, click the Replace All Rows by Import from XML File button. Navigate to the file to import and click Open and OK. With our tfile input delimited component selected, once again, click the ellipses to the right of Edit Schema. Highlight the columns you want to copy, then click the Copy Selected Items button and click OK. We'll add another tfile input delimited component. Once again, click the ellipses, and this time click the Paste button. And there are the columns. Here we connect Customer's File to Customer's Table with a main row, then select Customer's Table, and down here in the component window, click the Sync Columns button. When you click the ellipses to the left, you can see the schemas are synced. Let's add another tfile input delimited component, 
click the ellipses to edit the schema, and click the plus button to manually add a column. After defining it, click the plus again to add another column. You can add as many as you need. These examples are just some of the many ways you can generate schemas. In this presentation, we discussed what a schema is in the context of Talon Studio, saw various types of schemas, and went over multiple ways to generate them. For more information about Talon Studio, please check out the other presentations in this series. Thanks for watching.